It's my children. That is so awesome. By the pricking of my thumb, something wicked this way comes. She's got blue eyes. Like and subscribe, oh children. <laughs> Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Guys, look who stopped by. It's the Sanderson sisters, the witches, the ugly chicks. <laughs> what did the guy say? He goes, how come it's always the ugly chicks that stay out late? <laughs> and then she casts them into the cages. Anyways, we do have them. We got Winnie, uh, known as Winifred. And then we also have Sarah and Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your vacuum fly? I mean, this is cool. These are the limited edition dolls. Only 5,000 of them were made. And we got them. We want to show them to you. Not only that, but you also have the limited edition pens here. It's the Hocus Pocus villain spell tacular. And look at this, guys. We got the Hocus Pocus cup the cauldron woo you can make your own <laughs> witch's brew i smell children no we don't have any children here but we do have actually one who came close is binks you know when they said his name Zachary binks i thought somebody had a lisping issue because you know mary had one she talked like this i thought they meant zachary binks but no it's Zachary binks with a th duh hey, there's our binky binks doesn't he look super cool let's start with him And that's what he was like for hundreds of years when the witch turned him into a cat. And what's cool about it, he's got these big green eyes. The more easier to see who subscribes with. <laughs> Although I sound more witchy. No, he was a dude. He was a young man trying to help his sister out. And look at the back here. I think Thackeray wouldn't be wearing a bow. <laughs> I think that's more frilling him up as a gal, but he still looks pretty cool. And from Shop Disney, a lot of people gave him five stars because he, he's so cuddly and squishy. Ooh, I'm going to squish him and cuddle him, you fat kitty head. He's binks a binks about all the inks fell. The carpet you stinks, not because you're pretty, not because you're clean, just because it gets girl behind the magazine. Things as made dad moment when I was a child. Oh, parents say children. She'll smell children. So guys, let's first start with this right here. It's the Hocus Pocus Villain Spectacular, and it's a limited edition set. And you can see all eight that you can collect. Winifred, Thackeray Binks, Sarah, Mary, Spellbook, then all three witches together. And then you got the cauldron with the eye and then a skull with wings. I mean, I don't know. Were they into Hardy Davidsons? I mean, she couldn't find a Hardy Davidson to ride, so she picked the nearest thing that she could fly was a vacuum. I mean, that'd be cool. She was on a bike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, smell children. Then on the top, you know, just some creepy looking icons. And then on the back, some text in pink. Looks like witches spells. And then on the side here, guys, it says eight pin collection. Each box contains two randomly selected pins. Woo, there's two. We have a total of 10. So we have a total of 20 we can collect. We better be able to collect all of them because you know what? There's a complaint on Shop Disney that somebody like said they got five Thackeray Binkses and none of the others. They're like, Thackeray Binks is cute, but we're just not getting the other chicks. So let's go ahead and open them up. The pins look pretty cool. In fact, most of the things that I find on Shop Disney, the pictures just do not do it justice. I don't know what it is. Whoever's taking pictures, but in real life, when you actually get it, super cool. So there's my Swiss Army knife, very sharp. Parents, be careful with your kids if they use that. I don't recommend it. And here's the first blind bag. Oh, there's one pin. Well, there's two pins. Should I just feel it and take a guess? Oh man, this one is either Thackeray Binks or the Skull. And this one's the Fat Cauldron because it's got that big circular thing. Either that or Mary's put on weight. Here, I bet this is the Cauldron, Kay. Oh yeah, there's the Cauldron. Yeah, that's a monster. And it's a collector pin. So on the back, you have these Mickey Mouse ears. You know, so you pull those off and you just skewer somebody with that. Or it's like you're on an embarrassing date, pinning the corsage on. And then the mom has to come in and do it for you. So no, you have to be very careful. Pin it on just like that. Oh, it's nice. And it'll just hang there. Oh, hey guys, look at this. You know, tonight we're just going amok. Amok, 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 amok. You know, Mary's still the coolest. What did she say? Since this promises to be a very dire and stressful night, I suggest we form a calming circle. I am calm. Oh, sister, thou are not being honest with yourself. What are witches doing forming a calming circle? They're always angry. Mary's my hero. I mean, the other two chicks are cool, but Mary just had some great one-liners. And this is, oh no, it's our Harley Davidson symbol, a skull and wings. Okay, box number two. I smell children. <laughs> no, I don't know who's in. Another cauldron. Oh, they gave us a bad batch. And is it the same thing that they always give you? So if you always get a cauldron, you're always going to get like the Hardy Davidson. Hmm. Feels too square to be a Hardy Davidson. What comes with the square? Oh, I bet we got the witch's book. The chick's book. Hey, we have the books of spells. Hocus Pocus, I cast a spell on you till I can subscribe. <laughs> Actually, these pins are pretty cool. They're very shiny. Okay, I can feel the square in this one. I think we have another spell book. Ooh, we're collecting spell books. Who couldn't use an extra spell book? Oh, there we go. 
Oh, we got all three of the checks. These ladies made Hocus Pocus awesome. If it wasn't for Winnie's like strong character and getting these chicks that, you know what? She couldn't act so strong if these guys weren't like buffoons. And so it all works together. Is that Thackeray I smell? Oh, we got Sarah. Sarah, Sarah, no time's a good time for goodbyes. Who sang that song? Some old 80s song. The 90s when this show was made was close to the 80s. Oh, we have Binks. Oh, he looks awesome. That color is just popping for our Binky. I'm going to sport my stuff. It's all amok. And we just got two left to collect. It's Mary and Winnie. Oh, yeah, this one's a big one. This one I don't even have to open. I mean, Mary's not obese here. It's the cauldron. Oh, man, how many of these do we get? Come on, Mary. Or Winnie. Win with Winnie. We got Mary. Woo! <laughs> she is so cool. Okay, guys, we got five boxes left. And I'm so nervous. <laughs> Come on, give me a win with Winnie. Uh, what does Winnie feel like? <laughs> <laughs> uh, she has like a flare at the bottom. Oh, we got Binks. He's got a flare. There's his, you know, tail and stuff. Still cool. Disney, we ordered tons from you. Don't fail us. Oh, we got Sarah again. Oh, there's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a spell book. Oh, how many spell books do you need? Well, one for each sister. Ew. Maybe. Hear that? It's that darn cat. Oh, we got Sarah again. All right, we're going to cast a spell on this. Um, Hocus Pocus, Minnow Locus, a few Crocus, and we get Winnie. Hey, spell casting isn't complicated. You just got to make it up as you go. I mean, if you're really cool, you would rhyme. Oh, come on, Winnie with Winnie. Oh, hey, we got Mary again. How about we win win with Winnie in here? We did it! Yes! We got Winnie fur! We did it! Yeah, since we can't return them, we might as well see what the other two look like. <laughs> so, hey, maybe we can get another Winnie. Maybe Winnie's are the ultra rares. Hey, we got another Mary. Sweet. Now we just need another Winnie. We gotta have one more Winnie, you know, because we got two Sarahs, two Marys. Well, okay, we got more because well, I'm saying two down. Oh, we got another Hardy Davidson. Oh man, Winnie. Think if we only got one Winnie out of this entire set. Woo, I'm glad we got 10 of them. Whew, what are the odds? Your odds can improve by watching Adventure Fun, liking and subscribing with more Hardy Davidson. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Winnie, Winnie, Winnie. Oh, we got another Mary. So looks like Winnie's the ultra rare so far here. And guys, look at this. Look Look at our hokey pokey cauldron. That is so awesome. Well, look at the rainbow and everything. You put dry ice in it, drop the lights, and maybe put a glow cube in it with dry ice or get one of those mister things, you know, drop it in there and then just stir. And you know what? I think online it says it was dishwasher safe and microwave, but you know what? With the swirls, the metallic swirly, I don't know. You put that in the microwave, you may get some sort of other witch's broom <laughs> in the air. <laughs> and look at that spoon. Oh, that's what you need. That's good for a cup of hot cocoa. Okay, guys, there's our Hocus Pocus cauldron. And I got one of these little remote lights here that you can change all the different colors with a remote control, like thus. And I've got one in there right there. You can see all nice and green. Now, what I need to do is just add some really hot water. I've got to pick up some dry ice. <laughs> Not with your fingers, very dangerous. And let's put it in here and see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Oh my goodness, that is so spooky. It's like, zoinks. That is so cool. That is like wicked. By the pricking of my thumb, something wicked this way comes. Guys, look at Sarah. I mean, she is super cool. See up at the top, they got this like, nice little crescent moon. She's got a mop. She doesn't have a broom. And it says right there, Sarah, limited edition. And it says one of 5,000. There's only 5,000 of these made. Her emblems are the black flame candle and the eye. Uh, you see nothing on the sides up at the top. Got some little design, you got hokey pokey, and there's nothing on the bottom. And then on the back, you got a little bit of detail about Sarah. Disney's proud to present this limited edition Sarah Sanderson doll that summons to life the villainous witch and her sisters. Together, they are known as the Sanderson sisters, and they are eager to lure all little children away under a full moon. When an unknowing soul lights a black flame candle and mistakenly awakens these century-old witches, the silly sisters get up to troublesome tricks in search of immortality. Designed by the Disney store artist, this limited edition Sarah Sanderson doll invites Disney fans and collectors alike to grab a spell book and brew up bewitched adventures of their own. Well, that's cool. Now let's get to opening this. And when it comes to opening, it's totally easy. All you have to do is just lift and separate. Yes. There's the first wave. Here comes the second wave. Now the second wave is you can lift the plastic and that comes out. And there you go, guys. 
Look how cool that is. I mean, she's got a spider and she ate a spider in the video and she's got her black flame candle and then she's got her mop. Okay, and then to pull her out, you know what? I think if we just tilt her upside down, it's so easy just to get her out. Let me bring this up. I want to cut this open because this is the certificate of authenticity. You don't have this, you got nothing. So it's got two sides of it. One's in, uh, I don't know, party vu French, and the other one's in Inglés por favor. It says, uh, Certificate of Authenticity, Sarah Collector Doll. This limited edition doll, released in 2021 by Disney Store, has been carefully designed by Disney Store artists to ensure every detail is captured. This collectible doll is sure to be a treasured keepsake for many years to come. And hey, looky there, we got number 763 out of 5,000. Wouldn't have been cool if we got number one, but apparently had a bunch of other people just elbowing me out of the way. I kept hitting refresh, but they said, don't hit refresh on the Shop Disney page. If you do, you'll have to start Start waiting all over again. Now, toy collectors would be like, ah, you're taking her out, you're gonna lose all value. I'm like, you know what? I'm reminded Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, where Macaulay Culkin and Kevin was saying, hey, you know, if you keep roller skates in your box and you never use it, what's the point? Hey, we're unboxing her, we're gonna have some cool fun. So let's go ahead and she's got some straps here. Yeah, don't cut her fingers off. We did that in Space Jam. We actually cut LeBron James' uh, finger off when we were excitedly trying to, oh, look at that mop. <laughs> Well, it's plastic. Rats. I was hoping as a real mop, we could actually do some work here. <laughs> it's authentic. It even smells moldy. That'd be cool for black flame candle actually lit up. Oh, there's your black flame candle, guys. The original. Yes, it was that size. They just zoomed in really close, make it look big. Oh, how do you get her out? Oh, man. Oh, it's strapped to her hair. Oh, this is going to be a horrific unboxing. You cut one doll hair of her head, and I'm totally unsubscribing. <laughs> this is where you got to be a surgeon here, a Doc McBuggets, you know, surgeon. Oh, no. You know those tags they do at the stores where they take the gun, <laughs> you just inject it right into the, put the tags, what's hanging there. They did it right into her head. Oh, no. Well, at least they're authentic plastic. And they even like sewed in her cape, her gown. And so they have a tie at the bottom. This video is only for the other 4,999 people who need to learn how to unbox their Sarah Sanders. <laughs> Whew. How much more gift can we get? Oh, she's strapped around the wrist too. Oh yeah, she's kind of sewed into the back. Yeah, thread into her cloak. Oh, wow. Oh man, this is super cool, guys. Okay. Can she really, maybe you can lean it back into that? And can she really hold the black flame candle? Okay, first of all, let's take a look at her. <laughs> now, Sarah Sanderson's got her gold hair, blonde, looks gold, certain highlights. And she's got blue eyes, long eyelashes, ruby lips, and she's got the bodice. There's tiny little gems here. You can just barely see them or emeralds. She's got the sleeves and she's got the clasps for her cloak. And then going down, oh look, she's got her little uh, satchel here that just goes around maybe to help keep the dress on here. And then it goes all the way down. She's got the purple dress with the red gold lining, super cool. And oh, might as well debut the black candle here. Cool. No, oh, and don't forget the back of her hair, very curly too. Oh, and we also have her hoodie. And there she is with her witch hood on, it looks pretty cool. And then, oh, let's take a look at the bottom. Oh, what's this? Oh, she's stuffed with paper. Is it tissue or is it a slip? No, it's tissue, but that's supposed to be your slip. <laughs> well, look, she's got her little hosiery here and then her booties and then her shoes are strapped in. Um, maybe you guys want to leave it like that, but you know what? If we took it off, we could see if she stands on her own, but you know, this doll stand is just perfect for her. Okay, look guys. Yeah, it's just taped on the tissue. See if I can get it off. The tissue's good, I guess, to give her like dress a little bit more poofiness. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. But you know, what's the point of us doing a, a reveal video if we can't reveal? Oh, she's got purple bloomers. <laughs> so she does have her purple bloomers. And look, this holds, well, just right up the keister there to keep her straight. I kind of like her bloomers. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Hey, her legs move. Uh, I don't know if this is, okay. Maybe this is just one of those slip things that you just pull off. Yeah, just pull off. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. Whew, I sweat bullets there. I didn't want to break anything. Okay, so her boots, they can slide right off, I guess. Oh, it's just like the riot doll. Yeah, because they have a slit back mm -hmm. here. I just want to see if her booties come off. Maybe she doesn't have any feet. Oh, it's just coming out. And actually, her ankles move. God, you know what? That's cool, but the thing I find with some of these, that when their ankles move, it's hard to get them to stand. Oh, and look, her cape has a hoodie. Look at that. <laughs> she looks awesome. Oh, just exactly like in the movies. That's awesome. I don't know if I can get her to stand, though. 
Because she's kind of like bent on her ankle like this. But how does she hold that black candle? But you know what? If we didn't cut off the bands around, it would have been strapped right to her right there. I, I think her arms move up and down. They don't go forward and backwards. They might, but this lace is kind of tight. I don't dare rip it kind of a thing. And then what about her cape when she flies? Look at that. <laughs> like and subscribe, oh children. That was pretty creepy. And all about children. Well, this is a family channel. Like and subscribe, families. Oh, okay, that works. Guys, we were trying to put that big slip on, that tissue paper, just because it made her dress poof out more, you know? And this thing came off, but look, she's got clasps here, so I thought we broke it, but no, you can actually hook it right back on. That's nice. She actually has bands around her arms. Maybe that's why her arms couldn't move. Oh, wow. Oh, her head, it does move. It turns, leans side to side. And let's go ahead and clasp her cloak back on. The front, there we go. So it looks better. Her hoodie up or hoodie down. Depends on the flavor. Cool, all right. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I think she looks cool with this backdrop. And so we want to keep the box and just maybe put her back in there and display her like that. I mean, the Halloween, the colors and the, the spider. And when she gets hungry, she's got something to eat. I was gonna say save the best for last, but you know, Winnie's really cool too. So let's go with Mary because you know, Winnie being the head witch, we really ought to save her for last. And she's got the moon just above her head and then down below her symbols are the cat, which I guess is Binks, and then a dead man's toe. It says Mary, limited edition, one of 5,000. Same thing, top and then nothing on the sides. It's all in the back here. And it says the same thing. The only thing that's changed is the Mary Sanderson. Let's go ahead and open her up. It just makes it so easy to pull them out. Maybe if we can just, oh, there we go. That's even better. Looky here. Here's our certificate of authenticity. Let's find out what number she is. Certificate of Authenticity. This limited edition doll released in 2021. We read that, but you can see down at the bottom, this is number 65 of 5,000. I first wanted to get Winnie because I thought she'd go fast and maybe Sarah, but then with Mary, I got 65. I wonder how many people bought like maybe just one instead of getting the whole set or they couldn't get to the whole set in time because they all sold out. They sold out pretty fast, like in 30 minutes. I was like, whoa, I was lucky to get all three of them. And Mary just looks great. She's got the cat and the blue kind of purple background. I love her smile. She's got her lower jaw that just kind of tilts to the side. It gives her such fun character and stuff when she talks or is trying to emphasize a certain point. Oh, thou not being honest with thyself. Yeah, brown eyes, her hair looks great, and her dress is just like made out of rags. And then her vacuum, that's classic. Let's get our binks out. There's our binky. Back of the head again, ow. What do they care? They've been dead. Oh geez, what else? Okay, right? Maybe we just slide, oh, there we go. Just slid the vacuum out of there. Oh, Disney loves their plastic ties. They got her bound down. There's no way she could ever escape. We have the bottom here. Yeah. <laughs> Look at her vacuum. <laughs> the funniest part is when she tries to fly this thing, she just grabs it and whack. Ooh, ooh. I love the background of that. The background's just super cool looking, but enough with the background. Oh, you see her? Look at her earrings. Uh, they're really bright and red. Nice. And she's got red highlights in her hair. That's cool too. Like mop there. It looks like an ice cream or something. You just like give her a big lick. Um, uh, ooh, it's cherry. Oh yeah, and look. She's got a spider in her hair and it's strapped in. I ain't clipping that out. It just looks cool. So some straps are meant to be left strapped in. Let's see, okay, and there's her bodice and gold lacing, pretty cool. And her arms just look like the color of the pumpkin. I mean, she's all in a squash-like color here. That's awesome. And then she's got just rags, you know, just thrown together, burlap sack or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this one, they have tissue paper up here, but they didn't need much because look at Sarah's dress. Sarah's dress is really poofy. Hers with a bunch of rags, burlap, it just hangs down. And there's no poofiness to it. There's no glamour. So it's got a nice stand to it. So she doesn't have any bloomers, just the legs that go right up and you can just see the connections right to her hips. I mean, nothing special there. We'll try to take her off the stand. Look, her knees are even strapped there. Man, they even went under the knee joints. Oh, well, that was easy. 
Okay, so her legs, man, she can move them all over the place. Oh, okay, so she's got her boots. You can take her boots off, right? Oh, and her ankles. This is what makes it tough is when their ankles can bend. Oh, but I don't know why you want to take her boots off. They're so hard to take off. Oh, there we go. That slid right back in. So as far as like standing up on her own, I really don't think these dolls were meant to stand on their own. It's pretty tough, but they can bend. I mean, they got a lot of movement in them. Oh, she's getting old. She needs to lean onto the vacuum for support. She's got her hoodie. Yeah, there's her hoodie right there. And guys, you can hear, listen, thou art not being honest with thyself if thou art not liking and subscribing to Adventure Fun. Go on, go on, give it a like, give it a subscribe, yes. But with a backdrop like that, it's really a good collector's box too. Not only the dolls, but the, I mean, you could take them out and just stand them up. I mean, they look just as good on the fireplace mantle, just above the cauldron. Okay, finally, our Winnie, Winifred. Winifred, Winifred. And she got the moon up at the top and then, oh, she's got her spell book and also her potion, which is what she's known for. You can see limited edition, one of 5,000. And then you got the Hocus Pocus logo on the top, same thing on the sides, which are nothing, but she's in a beautiful green box. And then of course on the back, it says the same thing, except this is Winifred Sanderson. So let's go ahead and open her up. Oh, smooth like butter. Oh, nice. Certificate of Authenticity says 667. So we got close to getting Mary first and then Winifred and then Sarah was apparently by the time I got to her, she was more popular or I got to her first. I don't remember the shopping order that I did. I just started like, get in the cart, get in there. Get in my cart. Guys, Hocus Pocus. The second one is coming out with the same actresses. I love these actresses. They are so good. It's gonna be so cool to see what they're up to in Hocus Pocus too. How do they get back to life? I mean, they were poofed out of existence. But you know, 30 years from the last time they made this, Lee Sanderson sisters, you know, they may be a little bit older, so they may have younger actresses playing their parts. Still, it'd be super fun to see them. Oh, look at that. She's got the red hairdo. She's got those lips. that <laughs> Looks like she's always puckering. Oh, there's her spell book. Super cool. And her gown looks super awesome. And she's got the broom. Oh, and I love the background, how it goes from like an orange into a blue. Now that's a real broom. Not a witch's broom, because a witch's broom would have had more like just regular sticks and twigs. This has been refined. Look. Boop. Let's see if it really opens. No, come here, come here, what the fudge? No, oh, I guess I just don't have the magic. Oh wait, what happened to the eye? Permanently closed. That'd be creepy if one day I woke up and that thing was looking at me. Oh. Yeah, every little blue part of her dress has been like stapled in with the plastic gun. Wow. Oh, geez. With her hairdo, these tags don't really give you room for error. Okay, I got one. Oh, geez. I think I just pulled that one out more than anything. Oh, it's that thread. And then we have to untwist down at the bottom. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, look at hers. There's a cemetery, a graveyard. Creepy. Cool. Oh. I, yeah, I didn't see an eyeball in there at all. Yeah, maybe that's just how it is and they're just pretending that it's closed. Hmm, would have required an extra 10 bucks to put an eyeball in there. But maybe we'll have to find another uh, set of these and see if there is an eyeball. Put in the comments down below, guys, if you actually have one. And I assume there's only 5,000 of you all watching at the same time going, I don't dare open mine, but I'll watch him. Yeah, adventure fun, adventure foolish. Oh, look at her hands. That's pretty cool how she's like this. Woo. So let's first start with her flame top hair. where It's just totally on fire and it goes all the way around to the back. And it's clipped beautifully together by plastic and looks like a bent staple. Well, we added that just to keep her bun together. And then to her eyebrows and then her big long eyelashes, her green eyes, creepy, goes with her green dress. She's got the red ruby lips. And actually, I think she has a, there it is right there. She's got a red stone. And then over on her earrings here, looks like they're also red. Looks red to me. And then the necklace that goes across to, you know, clasp her cape. And then down to the bodice part, nice and blue, some gold threading. Oh, and then look at her green cloak, cape. I mean, you got the snake with the red eyes and then you got some gold stones. And I would say those are snapping tulips, snapping dragons. 
And then there's the clasp and it just looks great all the way down. And then on the inside, you got a nice blue skirt that complements her greenery, fabulous. And then her hands look nicely crafted, both right and left. I mean, and look at that mop. That just, oh, you know what? So if you look, the mop was stapled in, which is good, but then it came undone here. And when I was clipping, I didn't think I was clipping, unclipping it. Maybe they just missed that part. You can go to probably on Amazon, just get one of those staple guns right into her head. So look good. And there's her hoodie. She looked like a really, really wicked witch now. She's up to no good. This is when they're going totally witchy on anybody. <laughs> Um, okay, so what is she like underneath here? Tissue paper. Oh. <laughs> what does that remind you of? The Wizard of Oz! You remember? They had the shoes and they had like candy cane stockings and how the shoes curled up underneath that house that crushed the Wicked Witch. Okay, nothing up here, no bloomers and stuff. So we can just say she just stockings. I mean, her legs and everything's moves just the same. You mean, assume you can twist her head. Bow down, bow up a little bit. Maybe she can lean on her broom for support. I mean, this just gets tricky because her feet are so movable, you know. Don't breathe, camera mom. Oh, nice. Okay, since we took off the shoes of the others, we can take off her little booties. Okay, and it gets hard with these ankles though. Maybe they're just not taking them off the right way. Oh, there we go, that's easier. <laughs> she's got little socks. So there's her booty, a little curl up. Now, why do witches always have like curled up court gesture toes? I don't know, maybe it's easier to like when your broom's down there. You hook it, whoop, you get it. Guys, look at the back. Look at her arms there. So it's got some sort of shimmer and shine on her sleeves that goes down into like a lace blue. Man, they really went to work on uh, Winifred. Is this just a latch here that you can unlatch? Yeah, I think you can if I can do it. There you go. Woo! No, that's what happens. You get fat and old and ugly when you don't have enough soles. I don't know how that's gonna work in the Hocus Pocus number two right now. That's just the beginning, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe, come back, and let us know what you think of the Hocus Pocus 2 show when it comes out next year. I put a spell on you, and now you like and subscribe. Ooh, they it's you like. You like and subscribe. Subscribe. So guys, are these the action figures for Hocus Pocus 2? No. Oh, it's Hocus Pocus 1, but for Hocus Pocus 2, the new action figures or the dolls got to be somebody younger because these ladies, the actresses for Hocus Pocus or the first one, Hocus Pocus 1, are 30 years older. So I don't think they're going to be as young as they look now. So I'm sure they'll probably get some younger actresses for their parts, but they'll still be a big part of the show. And these will now become collector dolls. Put in the comments if you're looking forward to Hocus Pocus 2, because <laughs> if it's as fun as these ladies made it in 1, it's going to be fun and Two. Until then, adieu. Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.